What happened in D.C. changed everything. I don't know how to move past this. I don't know how to fix things. D.C. was not the first time things got heated between us. You kissed me long before that, remember? Yeah. I was trying to get you to confess to Stewart's murder. Well, same plan, though. To seduce me. Do you see a, a pattern happening here, Jr.? And you can toss it up to whatever you want and say the desire between us is only physical. But you know, together, we could be unstoppable. What are you talking about? You're a fighter, Jr. I saw it at the hospital. You had all the odds stacked against you, and you never gave up. Well, neither do I. Ever. Two people that determined together, they can accomplish anything. You do know your father's probably on a beach somewhere, right? Thinking he got the last laugh. I mean, don't you want payback? Yeah. And no matter what happened, that company is my birthright. Well, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Adam can't just take that away from you. Together, we could fight to get you what you deserve. Hmm. What you've always deserved. Really run this family. You can accomplish really great things if you have a great partner. What are you doing? Making a toast. It's sparkling cider. Don't worry. Huh. To our future. Wait a second, I haven't even said yes. You invited me to a hotel alone. To talk. <laughs> when was the last time we just talked? <clears throat> you know what, you're right. I knew exactly what would happen if we came here. Now, what happened to the man who couldn't wait to get his wife out for a hot date? Well, he's wishing he had gone somewhere else. Baby, just pretend he's not here. Just... Okay. He's right. <laughs> look, look, you know what? This afternoon was supposed to be about us, okay? Now, between my busy schedule and all the hours you're putting in at this station, as you keep saying, we barely have time to see each other anymore, so I don't want to waste this precious time on David Hayward. So can we please enjoy each other's company? Here. Absolutely. Let's have some wine, huh? Ah, now that's what I call good service. Me didn't order that. It's the compliments of Dr. Hayward. <sighs> Pretend he's not here, huh? Janet Dillon. How is she behaving herself? She's doing okay. Taking her meds twice a day. Does she seem agitated or combative at all? No, she seems sad. Keeps asking for her daughter. Oh. Need to do anything? No, I got it. Thanks. How are you feeling? Where's Amanda? Uh, she's taking care of the baby. Oh, that's good. A mother should be with her child. And you? How you doing? Meds take some adjusting, too. I still have a headache, but I am taking the pills like clockwork I have to for Amanda. It's good. Now, Amanda wants you to get better. Well, even with the medicines, I'm never going to be quite right. Don't think like that, you know. A little faith and a little hope and a good attitude that can go a long way. I have had years of hoping. All I wanted was to be with Amanda. All I wanted was to be with my little girl. And it took a while, but I finally figured out a way to do it because I missed her so much. She isn't going to come, is she? I don't think so. Mm. But it's because I think she she blames herself for Natalia getting hurt, you know? Uh, that bullet barely grazed her. And 
what would have happened if, if you'd hit the baby? No. No, I never would have hurt the grandbaby. But, Janet, you fired a gun in the room and the baby was next door. The lady cop was trying to keep me from my family and I had to stop her. I know, I know you love Amanda. More than anything. The problem is, you don't want to share her with anybody. You know, she has a life now and a family. So it can't, it can't just be the two of you anymore. And maybe someday... Maybe someday you'll understand that. All I want is to know that my little girl's going to be okay. I love your daughter. I'm taking good care of her. I promise you. I promise. There. Oh, they're at their dance class. I thought maybe we'd pick them up together, you know, surprise them about the play date. How are you holding up, honey? I I'm fine. You know, if there is anything that I can do to help in any way... Well, actually, I could really use a favor. What's that? I, well, I got called into work, so I was wondering if you could watch Trevor for a few hours. Oh, well, sure, but I, I was kind of hoping that we would have a little time together, you know? I, I could call Erica, you know, see if I can pull a few strings. No, really, I um, appreciate it, but, you know, Erica gave me a chance, and I just want to prove that I deserve it. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about that. You know, Erica has her own history with Janet. She understands how your mama can be. You know, she's caused a lot of trouble, and I just don't want her to ruin this for me, you know? Well, whatever you think is best. So I guess the little guy and I will uh, be heading off then, huh? Okay. You just give me a call you. when you're oh, ready well. to pick him up. All right. Take care. Say bye-bye to your mama. Mommy loves you, okay? Bye, sweetie. All right, give me a call. Okay. Bye. 